Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. We come to you this morning praying, Lord God, uh, for recovery this morning. Thank you for waking us up. That means that we have hope and we can move forward, Lord God, because you have given us the strength and ability to do so. So thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Thank you for giving us the strength to move a limb, to move forward and get up. And Lord God, if we keep in my mind that we will give out before we give up, you know, we'll keep going forward, Lord God. And we bind Satan right now in the name of Jesus that he have no authority over anyone in our home, our family, our children, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord God. And today, Lord God, that every word coming out of my mouth is through your word, Lord God, and that no weapon shall be formed. Uh, prosper against that, Lord God, and that your children, uh, that every word coming out of my mouth be acceptable unto your children, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, amen. And today I want to talk about, um, try not to make this video too long, <laughs> um, but in it, today, you know, I want to talk about uh, 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 hurt and when people reject us because of our condition. Um, you know, I went through that, uh, with, with family and everything, you know, um, I even had to the point where when my husband was in the hospital and my car had broke down right there at the turning of the hospital, but it was on the hallway, but I had to get my, um, I had to get my, 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 um, family member to come get me and, uh, take me home. And at the time while, you know, went home to get a change of clothes and you know walk with my dog and I come back in you know uh, I realized uh, that uh, the next morning that my stuff was gone um, when I come back in from walking my dog you know everyone rushing to 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 leave and they're already in car car started up let's go we gotta go you know and i'm rushing to leave and i realized next morning when i look in my cabinets that all my stuff was gone um so you know and it doesn't matter what they steal i don't care if it's a pencil it doesn't belong to you we have certain family members that'll go to your house and feel like they can take what don't belong to them you know, from the mother on down to the children, you know, so, and, and I stay away from that, you know, my mother went through it, you know, with that mother, still in her house, every time she come, you can't even invite family over to come stay the weekend, no, you're still in something out the house, you know, so, um, I'm, I don't mean to veer off on, on, on my subject, but I just want you guys to know that, uh, you cannot depend on family, God said put your faith in him, Okay, that's why we should put our faith in God because you can't depend on family. You can't depend on family to do anything. In in uh, Luke uh, chapter six and verse twenty, and he lifted up his eyes and on on, on his disciples and said, "Blessed." Be ye poor, for yours is in the kingdom of God. You know, um, blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall, ye shall laugh. Jesus God, in the name of heaven, I pray right now, God. Right now, God. Right now, God. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name in evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the light manner did a prophet say the your said, did their fathers unto the prophets. So God says, blessed are ye the men, uh, the men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, 
and shall reproach you and cast out your name in evil for the Son of Man's sake. We cannot depend on family. You know, uh, they will hate us. People will hate us. And they will separate themselves from us. It doesn't matter the reason why. It don't even have to be a stroke. It don't have to be sickness. It's just an everyday loving how people are. You know, we find we're family in a way. They're not dependable. That's why we don't put our trust in man. We put our trust in God. Because God asks us to put our trust in him. And we do that. We do that. That's why we have to put our trust in God. Because God said, don't put your trust in man. In no man. Um, uh, <clears throat> it says, rejoice ye in that day and leave for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the light manner did your father unto the prophets. So don't worry about family, friends, who's not around you. God said, rejoice. Your reward is in heaven. Your reward is in heaven. You know, um, we can't we can't let other people bring us down. You can't. People want, don't you know? <laughs> oh man, don't you know? People want to see you fail. People want to see you fail. They really want to see you fail. So they'll do everything in their power to see you fail. You know, they'll act like they care. But in the, in the meantime, they want to bring you down, okay? So don't, don't let people bring you down. Stay focused on God. Know that um, God is there for all your needs, whatever you need. And I know for some people, you know, it's hard because you say, oh, well, I can't see that. It's just a thought. Or what? No, uh, like I said, if you don't believe... Compared to what's going on in this world, to what the words say in the Bible, you know, com com compare that. Um, in the Bible tells us, you know, the things that are going on in this world. We just need to recognize the things that are going on in this world. We know that can't no man do that. Can a man, um, can a man cause an earthquake? Can a man cause a storm? Can a man cause a tornado? Can a man cause a flood? No. Who can do that? Where do all this come from? You call it Mother Nature, I call it God. But you know what? If you don't believe, you need to start believing. And I know I'm harping on that a lot, but guys, with all this going on in this world, we don't have much time. And you know, people can say they avoid on Judgment Day or whatever. We just never know our time, when our time comes. It could be in an instant. Anytime. We just don't know. So be ready. Save your soul. Save your spirit. Be ready for Christ. Okay? Be ready. Be ready. I've lost loved ones and I worry. You know, where are they? And it's sad that people, people can't come back and tell us. You know where they are or how we should live and what we should and shouldn't do so the only thing we can do is um i'm sorry i think about love uh, but god said you know you know put your trust in him and the only thing we can do when our loved ones go is um is pray and pray to god that they're so they're their spirit is in heaven. Um, so, with that being said, you know, I, I I hope I've touched on some things today. I'm not, that will help you. Um, I got here um, this morning as soon as I can, um, cause I'm just playing this morning. I haven't really, you know, took my shower. I took my shower and all, but I haven't really um, gotten myself together but in a way I'm glad you got us here give me someone to talk to and I really thank you thank you for coming thank you for listening whenever you feel free leave a comment let me know you're here I can't see you but I know you're there um, and um, this is this helps me because you know 
And like I said, sometimes you can't talk to people. Um, you talk to God. And and um, this blog just helps me talk to you. Um, so anyway, you guys have a blessed day. I pray for you all. And um, I will see you in the next video. I'm trying to get it up as soon as possible. Bye-bye. God bless you.